Hey guys, Ernie here. Welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Quick video for you guys today. Got something pretty awesome in the mail. If you uh, check my Instagram, you saw it. But it's the new Firebox Freestyle Modular Stove. Very, very cool concept Steve has come up with. He gave me the heads up about it um, a couple months ago. Uh, really, right after the, um, the Scout came out, he said, look, I'm coming out with another stove. And he sent me some pictures of some prototypes and it was really freaking cool. So I've been excited to, to get my hands on one. He was nice enough to send me one. Uh, it is not complete. It doesn't have everything. There's still some prototype parts, but uh, you get a pretty good idea. Now, it's a modular system, like I said. We're gonna look at it today just as a first burn, kind of as a single stove, and I'll explain to you what I mean, but stay tuned. We're gonna take a first look at the Freestyle from Firebox. All right, so this is the Freestyle. Comes in this box. It actually comes, there's another one just like this inside. This is the stove. What it is is two separate stoves, and I don't know, guys, if this particular stove will be available as a singular stove, and then you get two of them, and you can put them together. Um, I really have no idea. Uh, Steve just sent these out to me. I know there is gonna be a Kickstarter coming up, but the specifics of how it's gonna be packaged and all that, we'll learn that down the road. But we'll open this thing up. As you can see, it's brand, it's brand new. I have not even... Uh, Lit, lit it up at all. Uh, what you get inside is a little grate like this. Um, really love the aesthetic. It's got this ranger band. We'll take the ranger band off. Comes with four um, fire sticks. I don't know if this is the way that you're supposed to attach them, but that's the way I did. And it comes with this kind of bottom grate that fits in there. What this looks like is kind of a, uh, a nano on steroids. It's kind of like the box of a nano, but the look of the five inch, just a lot smaller. So open this thing up. You'll notice first off, there is no bottom. There's nothing to, to flip open. Um, each panel has a number. There's one, like one dot right there, two dots, three dots, four dots. So you can always put it back together. And the beauty of it is, and again, we're not going to show you guys a lot. I'll show you maybe one configuration. Um, you can take both of these and put them together and create, uh, we can take one panel out and create a three-sided stove. We can take it apart. We can add a fifth, a sixth panel, a seventh panel, or even an eighth panel. And you can take either just this little bitty stove, which um, I haven't weighed it, it seems extremely light. I'll put the weight down below here for you guys of the stove itself, and then I'll put the weight of the whole kit, okay? Which is just one of these stoves. So you get this. Now he also bundled with it a whole bunch of these grates, and they're for the different configurations. Uh, this is for the six-sided configuration. Uh, this is just for a big circle. This is for kind of a long stove. You put two of them side by side and you get it like that. Obviously just a big square, so a bunch of these things. I think there's a seven-sided one that he said is not, and I may be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure he told me there's a seven-sided one that he doesn't have uh, samples of yet. Anyway, what you do, as far as I can tell, we're gonna take two of these, and you do wanna create, I mean, you don't need to put a bottom on it, but I'm going to. I think it, it's kinda nice to have a bottom on it. So we'll put two fire sticks here. And one thing I have, was impressed with is just how tight this thing is. I think this is the way it goes, let's see. And it really, I mean, it pops in there really nice, you can see. I mean, it's the, the, the tolerances are very, very good. So there it is. Before we, this didn't even go through. Before we, uh, we light up a fire, we do a quick first burn. The concept is simple. Um, this is number one and number four. So I'm just gonna pull this out, boom. And now we're separated. And what you can do is, for example, pull out another one, okay? And then you can create, well, no, see I did it wrong, hold on. That's number two. 
So we need to keep number one in, I think, is the key. So let me put one back, and I think what we want to do is take number four out. Uh, just the way that it is, for it to actually work, let's take out number four. And now, we still can't create a triangle. What's the deal? Okay, Steve does have instructions, but you know, you know how that goes. So, we actually want to leave the fourth one in, and what we'll do, and we can test it to be sure, pull this one out. It's gonna go like that. So we wanna take out number three, and that will actually come together. And this is the triangular one. And, see, very simple. Cool thing about this, you can put the fire sticks in there and it fits the Tokes siphon alcohol burner perfectly, which is really cool. Steve, is this made out of titanium? I mean, I can't tell. I can't imagine that it is, but it's kind of got that look. I'm gonna email him and see. It's pretty lightweight. Anyway, I don't know. Let's put it back together. So we're gonna have one, two, three. So we need to put three between those two. So we'll put it right here. And again, this is the whole point of the stove, is the modularity of it. And the fact that you can take a stove like this and you can have a three-sided stove for an alcohol burner that's super small, smooth, super, um, super compact and lightweight. Or you can take two of these and all of a sudden you can create like a huge eight-sided um, fire pit almost, right? But that's for another video. I don't have a lot of time today, so we're just gonna give you guys, a lot of people wanted me to just shoot a quick video. What's it all about? That's what we're doing. I'm gonna put in a bottom here. We're gonna burn this thing a little bit, all right? A lot of angles on these firebox stoves. There we go. All right, let me move y'all a little bit and we're gonna start a fire. Got a bunch of little stuff here. Okay, good, making sure that we were actually rolling. Okay, and I think what we're gonna do, something a little different than what I do with fireboxes, and this may be a fail, but it seems to me like it should work. As long as we can get our, um, all right, we're gonna leave it like that. We're gonna use a fire plug from ProCamp Tech, which is what I like to use most. With stove like this that have a, a, an open bottom, I love to just put the fire or the uh, the stove right on top of the fire. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this. We had to put it right on top. So let's get our, our fire plug here. Once we get this lit, we can put it right on top and we should be good to go. It should start up pretty good. All right, let's get it covered up. This may or may not work, but I think it should. Let's find out. I think it is totally not high enough. It's not doing anything. Oh Lordy. Not good. Eh, forget it. We're gonna put it inside. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> Can y'all see it now? What a fail. All right, let's try this again. That'll work. <laughs> well, what you gonna do? So that's one thing to know. You gotta have it up. You know, you gotta have your fire source to where it'll get high enough. And I, this wood is super dry, so I'm just gonna pack it in. Is this titanium? I don't think so. I don't think it's titanium. If it is, I just don't wanna like burn it like crazy, but too late now. 
course you can put the, the big case underneath it if you want to keep things underneath it uh, nice and protected if you are uh, on grass or you're on something you don't want. Um, it's, it's a big kit. Um, I'm very curious to see how Steve is going to package it. Uh, as you guys can see, and that's kind of the reason that I did this video like this, this stove itself is freaking awesome. Um, there is nothing wrong with just this singular stove. It's like I said, it's like a big uh, nano and really freaking cool so you know you don't I don't know if you're gonna have to get it with the uh, the bundle of double but I mean the point obviously is the modular system so having both will give you that modularity so as I said this is a introductory video just to show you guys what it looks like put a little burn in it I know you guys have a lot of questions about it or will so I would ask you in the bottom, in the comments of this section, ask me as many questions as you want about the stove. And I will be making a follow-up video. Um, and, and eventually I'll be making a full review video, but that review video won't be made until I use this thing for a while. Because um, I think that's important. I'm not sure, as I said, when the, um, when the Kickstarter will be. So. Like all firebox stoves, this thing is just kicking and it hasn't taken very long. So there you go guys, really fast, a uh, very cursory look at the Freestyle from Firebox. Like I said, I'm going to be obviously doing a lot more testing and checking this out a lot more, but there was a tremendous amount of curiosity on Instagram and people wanted me to just put something out there to show you guys what it's all about. And this is it. Really cool. So uh, to review, the kit he sent me is basically two of these stoves plus all those different grates. It also, it also, it's over there. It also comes with two um, fire sticks that are like, you know, this long that I would assume are for use when it's in that really extended mode. Um, haven't even messed with those. Don't have a lot of time today, so I wanted to just get out here and, and do a quick video to show kind of just a quick first look, like I said. Uh, make sure, as I said, you guys are going to have a lot of questions. I think one of the reasons that Steve sends me stuff is because I'm very honest with him. I tell him the things that I think are really cool and I will tell him the things that I don't like. Um, and I think that's important because those are the ways that we can improve products uh, before he puts them out. Um, last time when he sent me the Scout, I can't remember exactly what it was, but that had, I had an issue with fitment of something. I think it was the crossbars he had had um, sent me some original crossbars that were non-production, uh, they were prototype, and cut out a certain way, and then he sent me the production type, and um, they didn't fit good, they didn't work good, so he had to go back and, and, and tweak them. So anyway, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's exciting and always cool to get new stoves like this, and I know you guys are excited. 
and preliminarily I can tell you, you you're gonna want one of these uh, even just in this little form like this it's an awesome little stove but uh, combined with the other one and the modular nature of it I think it's gonna be a really special system so um, I got a trip coming up soon where I'm gonna shoot a lot of videos for you guys I wasn't planning on shooting a video on the freestyle but you better believe that I am now so that's about I don't know I think it's like four to six weeks away I'm trying to find out exactly from Steve when the uh, Kickstarter will start uh, so I'm hoping to put my video out right around the time of the Kickstarter so you guys or even just before so you can really decide whether you think this is something you want um, yeah anyway I appreciate Steve sending it out to me always cool to get uh, prototype stoves like this from Firebox that are so freaking cool um, you guys are gonna like this one stay tuned for more videos about this stove and other stoves here on Paleo Hiker MD